The third game of opening weekend brings Atlas and Archers to the field here at Gillette Stadium, both looking to make a good first impression here in week number one. As Dominique Alexander finds daylight, walks right down Main Street and scores. Well, they gave it to him and he took it. Dominique Alexander with the first goal tonight. To him. Costabile. When Ratliff on him, slips by and scores. 10 on the clock. Costabile driving denied. Diving after it was Gittleman. He got a little help there from Mark McNeil as well. Gittleman harassed by a couple of Atlas players. By Gittleman, who's seen a lot of action in the crease early on. Stands his ground, holds pipe. They get it up and out to man, and then that hit. Nice stick check by Jake Richard. Popped that ball out, and it comes to Danny Logan. Save there, there wasn't much to shoot at. And look at Ratliff, wire one home. A two-pointer. It's the two-pointer. The X. Crawley on the move, got out with a sharp angled shot. And Gittleman stands his ground again. And that shot gets through. John Crawley. 11-2 Atlas. Fields moves it. That one slinged home. And Archers have it back in just a little bit of time here. They move it quickly. They get a look. Connor Fields from two. Playing midfield, running out of the box. Just a half a second left there. It'll give a face-off win to Baptiste. And that is it of what winds up being a very strange first quarter of play. Atlas outshoots Archers 12 to 4. But Archers score four times, including two two-pointers. Out of Virginia, he finished there in 2011 as Connor Fields looking to create and tried to go all the way across with the skip pass, and it was picked off. Amen the dish. Manny spinning and shooting is Christian Mazzone. More and more archers getting involved with the offense. Baptiste won the faceoff, gave up the ball to a teammate, and Kelly stole it back and it immediately goes in the net. Latrell Harris and Archers. Starting to put a little space between them and Atlas. Another one. What a shot by Ryan McNamara. Archers can't miss. Seven for seven shooting. Wings getting involved off the draw. A broken stick as well for Kyle Pless of Atlas. At the ground ball comes to Mazzone and he slings it over. Make it eight for eight. Will Manny on the board. Archers lead it 10 to 2. Tom Schreiber sees a lane, darts towards the goal, then pulls back. Into traffic. There's the first stop for Kid Cannon as Ryan Ambler from in tight. Schreiber puts it in the left hand. Down the alley. Schreiber turned the corner and threw it righty. Now everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. Freeze it right there. You can see Danny Logan. He goes for overhead, misses. And then as we keep playing this, that allows Schreiber to then bring his stick back to the inside. Jesus. Schreiber. What a pass. What a catch. What a goal. McNamara the finish on the feed from Schreiber. Third tonight for Ryan McNamara. Tom, thank you. Thank you. Brendan. Ah. There's an answer from Bacaro. His first goal in the PLL. Amen still working, swimming, shooting, and he scores! A patient possession for Grant Amen, waiting for something to open. And Archers with a rude welcome for J.D. Colarusso. Helmet, he actually heard that. He's like, <laughs> I'll prove you wrong. Enough of that stat. A <laughs> oh, backdoor play and a wide open spike from Marcus Holman. 
Dan Beccaro, his feet, comes around for Tinney with a good look, and Gittleman got it. Zone has one as well. He gets right around Adams, and he picks a corner. Christian Mazzone, his second, stepped around Brent Adams and put it up and away from Colarusso. Weaves his way through. Ball was up, now on the ground. Fields trying to get it back. He kept it away initially from Andrew Newbold, but Newbold will fling this one all the way down. Gittleman will take it and fling it back as a dominant first half put together by Archer's Lacrosse Club. They lead 15 to three. We gotta keep building, we gotta keep building. We're not gonna win anything without Kincannon and Cage. He's, he's our guy. Let's just hit the reset button and see what we can do in the second half. Timely slides, but there he noticed the Atlas subbed a player off. Cutting, wow. Marcus Holman made it look easy off the feed from Ratliff. And Archers have thrown their lead to 13. Got Graham Hossack back there. And Kincannon comes up with a stop point blank on Harris. That's on this offense for Atlas so far. We'll just wait till tomorrow with Sowers. Good point. Good shot from Crowley. He says it's a two. So do the officials. A two-pointer for Crowley. And then tracked down. Hossack had it momentarily. Costabile jarred it loose. And now Mazzone has room to run. Takes it right to the middle. Mazzone into traffic. Spun down. Ball down. And the quarter over. So the fourth quarter begins with Archers up by 11. And Ryan Ambler makes it 12. It's his first today. A 10th different goal scorer for Archers. Amen. Looking for a lane. Finds one. Grant Amen. His second goal. There's a goal for Romar Dennis on the run. The over under at 25 and a half. Ooh. <laughs> Archers put on a show tonight in Foxborough. 18 to 6. They beat Atlas for the win in week one. 18 to 6, the final score. Tune in tomorrow to catch Water Dogs take on Cannons at 1 on NBCSN. And then switch over to Peacock at 345 to catch Chrome and Redwoods. For Ryan Boyle, Paul Burmeister, and our entire NBC Sports crew, I'm Brendan Burke saying thank you for watching the PLL. See you tomorrow for a doubleheader.